Good morning, dear students. In today's class, we are going to study about the softening process. That process is used to soften hard water. As we know, hard water causes several problems in the boiler. If we use hard water in the boiler, it causes so many problems. They are known as boiler problems. To overcome from the hard water and to convert hard water into soft water, we use one of the process that is lime soda process. Today we will study about the lime soda process. Lime soda process is one of the process in which hard water is converted into soft water by the addition of lime and soda. So let us study lime soda process. The basic principle of lime soda process is to convert all the hardness causing impurities into insoluble precipitate by the addition of lime and soda. Once again I am repeating. The basic principle of lime soda process is to convert all the hardness causing impurities into insoluble precipitate by the addition of lime and soda. Here we will discuss about the formula of lime and soda. The formula for the lime is CaOH whole twice that is calcium hydroxide and soda is Na2CO3 sodium carbonate. Lime soda process is mainly of two types. One is cold lime soda process and other is hot lime soda process. In today's class, we will study about the cold lime soda process and also with diagram we will study cold lime soda process softener or cold lime soda softener. Here is diagram for the cold lime soda softener. Cold lime soda softener is the cylindrical shaped instrument that is having two chambers. One is inner chamber and other is outer chamber. Inner chamber is having one of the stirrer that is mechanically operated or motor operated stirrer. It is also having two inlet valves. One inlet for the addition of lime, soda and coagulant and the other inlet is for the addition of hot water. Here we are using coagulant also. The reason for using coagulant is to convert fine PPT into coarse PPT. As we all of know that when the reaction takes place at room temperature, the, the product forms are very fine. That is the cold lime soda process. So the reaction takes place at room temperature. The reaction when takes place in room temperature, the precipitation occurs is very fine and it cannot be separated easily by the filtration. So here we use coagulant to convert fine precipitate into coarse precipitate. In the inner chamber, there is two inlet walls. One inlet is for the addition of lime, soda and coagulant. And other inlet is for the addition of hard water, which is to be softened. In the inner chamber, when the mixing of chemicals, lime, soda and coagulant and hard water takes place, continuous stirring and mixing causes reaction between them and the precipitate formed comes outside the inner chamber. From the uh, reaction, when the reaction completes, the water comes out of the inner chamber and here it comes to the outer chamber. In the outer chamber, there is a sludge outlet. This sludge outlet is used for the collection or accumulation of the precipitate. The precipitate formed is in the form of calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide. Calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide. Water then comes from the inner chamber, it rises down to the outer chamber. In the outer chamber, precipitate accumulated at the sludge outlet and water move upward or water rises. When it moves upward, it passes through the wood fiber filter. Wood fiber filter is used to ensure the complete removal of sludge or to remove the suspended impurities which are in the which are in, present in the water after passing this water from the wood fiber filter we ensure complete removal of the sludge or suspended matters in the upper part there is softened water collected which is taking out from the soft water outlet okay this is all about the cold lime soda process one main thing is that after completion of this process, 
the water which we get is having residual hardness of 50 to 60 ppm that is, that is one of the remor remarkable point the residual hardness after completion of this process or the residual hardness of hard water which is converted to soft water after this process is having 50 to 60 ppm hardness 50 ppm to 60 ppm residual hardness is remaining with the water this is all about the cold lime soda process there is one of the processes also left with lime soda that is hot lime soda process we will study hot lime soda process in our next class thank you so much